a heart attack. That's fatal heart impact. Past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past. I back up my actions. Fact, don't ask. Grab reactions. Jack attack with every word. Then act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose. Cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused. Call the shots and they produce. I ain't boss. I'm finally loose. Pick a new soul bird's juice. I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody. This is Kirisho here, and now, before we do begin, a lot of people are maybe confused as to why I'm not doing a Captain America Deku if I am doing a, well, Super Soldier series. Now, I feel like the particular way I could do this series would be good and interesting. Because with the fact is that if the Super Soldier Serum increases everything about that person, basically all the good traits, then I want to say it could also increase some of the negative traits. Now, with that being said, basically making this a bit of a villain story, I feel would be very fitting. Especially with the way Deku was treated, even in canon. Now, actually continuing that little bit of a tangent, there is also the fact that this Deku he would be treated a little bit worse. However, he would never meet All Might. Now, the Sludge villain would never be in town. And thanks to that, Deku and All Might, they never crossed path. They never met, and Deku, he never received one for all. It would go to somebody else, and Deku, he would continue on with his life. Now, Whereas Bakugo was a bit of a bully, there were some of the people Deku met later in life. Well, Bakugo definitely was the worst, even the times where Bakugo was physically a bully, basically beating the shit out of him, there was one where Deku met people who actually tried to kill him. Now, well, Deku did receive therapy for it, and even those who were getting put in jail, there was the fact that something, so, something did somewhat snap in Deku. And whenever Deku, he was at the age of 18, he was considering something. He thought that he, well, wanted to be a villain. Quite frankly, he just had this idea. All of his life, he's never had control. After all the shit he was put through, after everything that happened, hell, Bakugo was the worst guy he ever met. He was a bully. And right now, he is attending UA fucking high school. And Deku, he was pissed. He was angry. The guy tortured him. And he's living the high life. And Deku, he was still just angry. He wanted to get an advantage on Bakugo. Get revenge. At this point in his life, he needs it. He's going to lose his fucking marbles. Now, Deku heard about an experiment that, quite frankly, could help with the Corcus problem. Well, it wasn't exactly what Deku heard, that's what he thought it was. People, they don't like Corcus people. So, they're going to inject them with serums and give them quirks. Yeah, it sounds like a bit of a problem. However, right now, Deku, he found it to be a fucking miracle. Now. Deku, he went into the program. When they found that he was physically capable of it, and he was actually in their target range, they started to consider him. And there was even the fact that they did all perform mental checks on the background of these characters. Now, Deku, it was seen that he did receive some therapy. And while they don't exactly think that that would impact the screening process, they were wrong. They never... They saw that Deku had therapy. However, they didn't exactly know if Deku was mentally capable. Yes, he seems to be well put together from their interviews, and from what they've been able to tell. However, Deku has been getting better at putting on that smile. The smile that means nothing to him anymore. Now, whenever Deku was put through the proper stages and even given the injection, there was the way he felt before. Going into it, he was nervous, he was scared, and quite frankly, he didn't know if it would have any side effects. Now, 
there was Deku on the other side. The moment he took the injection and he started to notice things after getting off of that table, he felt so much better. I mean, hell. He was trying to get into shape, but right now, he is in shape. He grew a few feet. And this is incredible. Now, the doctors, they were quite interested to see exactly how they would all act. And, thanks to the fact that Deku, he's basically a mentally stable psychopath, there was a bit of a problem. That was already a ticking time bomb. However, thanks to the injection, they increased everything Deku felt by tenfold. And that's a bit of a problem. Since, they don't know if mental stability is impacted by this. Now, with that being said, Deku, he started to notice side effects soon afterwards. While they weren't physical, they were mental. And Deku, he eventually lost his shit. Deku, he tried to become a pro hero. And while he didn't really qualify for going into hero schools at his age, there was the fact that he could go through certain programs. Deku, going through those programs, he would be able to qualify for hero agencies. Yes, it would be challenging and hard at first, but if he gets popular enough, then he can go to a more popular agency. And so forth, going up the ladder. Eventually, one day, getting into an agency that might be in the top 10 or at least someone associated with the top 50 in Japan. Now, Deku, he tried very hard to be a pro. He tried to do good. However, there was just one problem. And its name? Bakugo Katsuki. Now, Bakugo, whenever he saw Deku again, he was very much surprised. The Deku he remembered he could barely keep any strength in his knees. The guy had no backbone. A complete and utter failure. A guy who didn't have a spine and couldn't say a fucking word. Right now, he just saw Deku knock out a guy's teeth, throw one against a car, and break one over his knee. And then Deku proceeded to blitz the last bad guy and grab him and then throw him up into the air before attempting to put him down. Now, while Deku just before smashing the guy over his head, he was at least told by somebody that the criminals are dealt with and that that man needs to go into questioning. Deku, he tried to keep up his composure. However, whenever he saw Bakugo, he remembered a lot. Everything Deku suffered from. Everything that happened to him. Most of the bad things are standing right there. Now, Deku was just going to glare at Bakugo. And it is very momentental. One moment, Deku was looking fine. He looked toward Bakugo. The next, there was nothing but bloodlust. That feeling Bakugo had. The look in Deku's eyes, they were directed solely at him. And that was the look of, I'm going to knock your goddamn head off. And nobody will be able to find the body. Something so, well, certain. And that's what ter somewhat terrified him. It was hard to believe that that was him. And Bakugo, he was still somewhat trying to process it as there were actually the few times Deku, he saw Bakugo. While him and Bakugo have teamed up before, basically their hero agencies worked together and they were at least in the same room, there was one time they did work together. And that ended in disaster. Both of them received suspensions because an innocent civilian was almost killed on their watch. And because the two, as a civilian put it, wouldn't cooperate with one another. Now, Deku, yeah. 
Well, he tried to play the fact that he had all his shit together. He couldn't really use that card. Because him and Bakugo, neither of them did. And Deku, he was put on leave. Well, Bakugo, he would be able to return a little bit earlier. There was the fact that it was his fault. And because of the fact that his agency is a bit more popular, and he is higher in the rankings, Bakugo got off easy. He got two weeks. They could get a month. Now, that's how things were. Deku, he was very annoyed. And pissed. Bakugo, he cost him a lot. Deku has already been on multiple suspensions. And right now, there is that idea. The, sur the surefire idea that Deku, he would kill Bakugo. Go out with a bang. Hell. Bakugo dies, and he is set free. He no longer has those issues. If he kills Bakugo, they die as well. There's no more fear there. Now, that's how Deku rationalized it in his head. If Bakugo dies, those issues don't exist. Because, why would he feel issues from a person... He easily killed. Now, there was some Deku showed up at Bakugo's door. And Bakugo, yeah. He didn't want to deal with him. Deku was pounding on the door. Bakugo got up, walked over, saw who it was, turned around, and went to the kitchen. Grabbing a beer and deciding exactly to see how long Deku would be here. And things, they escalated very quickly. Deku pounded on the door and tried to call him. He got his number from Kirishima. A guy he somewhat knew, but, well, didn't really get along too well with. While they saw each other at the gym occasionally, there was the fact that Deku, whenever he saw him recently, he told Kirishima he knew Bakugo, and that he wanted to catch up with his old friend. Now, Kirishima, he knew that there was something there. He knew that Kirishima knew, or he knew that Bakugo knew this guy and had very much some issues with him. From what he's heard, this guy, he was, well, somebody Bakugo talked highly of. I mean, he seemed to be very good, I guess. I mean, at least he was Bakugo's friend most of the time, from what they understand. Yeah. Bakugo, yeah. His experiences in the past, those were not friends. He's never really had one. And the first real one he had, he treated like shit. Bakugo, he's in for a bit of trouble. As we do, open with the following. Fine, what are you doing here? Hmm? Bakugo, I want to talk to you. Talk to me about what? I want to talk. Can I come in? No. We can talk here. What do you want? I just want to talk. It's very personal. May I come in? Now, Bako he just stared Deku. As Deku, he just going to bring his hand up and push his fingers to the door. Bako going to watch Deku. Hmm? No. Move your hand or I'll crush it. Or I'll burn it before I crush it. Hmm. Alright, Bakugo. You see, you've never really changed. Deku gonna push on the door. Him breaking it open. As Bakugo, he does go to kiss it backwards. And Deku just gonna bring up his hands. Asking Bakugo if he knows how much shit he put him through. Hmm. Okay, Deku. You really want to do this now? Fine. I've been meaning to kick your ass. Now, Deku and Bakugo, they get started. Bakugo, he brings his hands up. And Deku, he already knows exactly what to do. Bakugo, whenever Deku rushes forwards, he goes to throw his right arm outwards. And Deku, he goes low. Him immediately going to dodge under the right arm before going to bring up his right arm himself. Deku going to grab 
directly at Bakugo's ankle and pulling forwards. Now, the moment Deku does go to do that, with his other hand, he does go to directly wrap it around Bakugo. As Deku does go to directly pick Bakugo up and rush him straight through a wall. Now, Bakugo and Deku smash through a wall. Deku landing directly on something before rolling over and smashing Bakugo down onto the ground. And Bakugo, yeah, he was going to bring his hand up. This time with his left hand trying to throw it outwards. And Deku, he does directly grab upwards and towards Bakugo's left wrist. As right now there is his focus. You know every move he'll make before he even does it. Okay, his style is sloppy. You studied him. You know why you studied him. Don't try to fucking hide it. You knew you'd try to kill him one day. It was just inevitable, right? This guy, he deserves it. Somebody would have done it before me, right? I'm just doing the world a favor. I'm just doing the world a favor. Now, Deku does think that if he gets rid of this guy, he'll get rid of a shitty pro. Somebody who, they were never supposed to be a pro hero. Because they've never had a hero's journey. Like him. Now, Deku, he does go to bring up his arm. Him grabbing Bakugo's wrist before going to turn it. Him cocking back his left hand and going to smash it down across Bakugo's face. As Bakugo, that is a very heavy hit. And Deku, yeah, I don't need to really say anything. Deku hits with the force of a truck. And right now Bakugo, after being slapped across the face, or punched in the face, Deku is going to bring up his other hand. Him at least trying to directly bash in Bakugo's teeth. Now, that is how these two would continue. Deku, he bashed him, acro bashed him across the teeth two or three more times. Before Bakugo, he does go to directly bring up his right leg and kick Deku directly in the family jewels. Deku actually somewhat going to move forwards and going to feel that pain. As whenever Bakugo does go to bring him his hand, he does directly blast his hand upwards into Deku's side. Deku flying up and into the roof with that blast. As Deku does smash into the roof and then come back down, Bakugo actually brings his hands backwards to try and blast himself forwards and up into the air to kick Deku in the head. Now, whenever Deku he's kicked in the head, he actually does fly through the air and smashes directly by the door. Him going to get back up, before at least telling Bakugo about a lot of things that has happened to him. As Deku does go to someone to spit out some blood. And Deku does go to continue on. Everything Bakugo's done to him is why he's here. He needs to kill him. And this is how things are going to be. Either they kill each other, or he kills him. Or, he kills him. However... They would make him a pro hero, a murderer. And he'd be sent right to fucking Garters. However, there's a bit of a problem. Deku? He doesn't have as much to lose as Bakugo, does he? Bakugo, he's a very good pro. Always a stickler for the rules, right? So, he knows for a fact that Bakugo, he's too much of a goody two-shoes to fucking kill him. However, he stopped being good a long time ago. And he's done playing his part. Now, Deku and Bakugo, they rush at each other. And the neighbors, they call the cops. They heard that loud crash. And then they heard a loud boom. And they assumed there was a fight. Especially because they kept hearing shouting and then the intensity of the explosions, they got louder and louder. And the windows eventually blew out. Now, People were starting to get called in, and there actually was where Bakugo and Deku, they still had their battle. Deku, he was able to counter Bakugo in very many ways. And Bakugo, while he has had certain combat training, he's had to fight nobody with as much experience as Deku. Deku's reflexes are higher, he's more durable, he's faster, he's stronger. And the fact is... What he lacks in a quirk, he makes up in strategy. He knew that Deku was smart. And the fact that he's this strong, 
He's got to be at least twice as smart than that. So, maybe, just maybe, he won't win here. Now, whenever help does arrive, there is where Deku and Block go. They were about to have a bit of a clash. These two are going to put all or nothing into their next few attacks. And Deku, he has been wearing down Bakugo. He's been trying to steadily, but slowly, break Bakugo's ribs. He aims for those spots and attacks. And right now, he's pretty sure if he hits as much with as much force as he can, he can break Bakugo's collarbone. The one that is covering his heart. So... If he breaks that, he can literally kill Bakugo and rip his heart out. It seems a bit too, well, you know, graphic for him. But if he can just share that collarbone and leave Bakugo for dead, that would be enough for him. Maybe even have his lungs collapse or be pierced by his own, well, bones. So, that is another option. If that's the case, he can get out of here and not be associated with this. Maybe even play the part of a pro who came by, and he just encountered the villain who did it. Hmm. Would that actually work, though? Let me know what Deku was thinking. And right now, Bakugo, he does rush forwards. As Deku, he actually does go to bring up his fist. Him is somewhat going to change the way he's making it. Now. Whenever Bakugo and Deku do clash, there is one where the windows are blown out. And the apartment building, it starts to somewhat collapse. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed the mini shot. And I will catch you guys in the next ones.